When you come here, uh, it, at first it's, uh, it might even be hard to find the office. There's only a small sign and then there's uh, this uh, concrete wall that you have to walk around and come down and then you will find the door. And, and the door looks so uh, humble that uh, many people don't even understand that it's the main door and the main entrance to the office. So it turns its back to the street uh, and in the middle here where we're now sitting, because that's one of Aalto's ideas, that he, he wanted to leave the best spot uh, open and free from building. And you now have the possibility uh, to see the nicest part of the nature uh, unspoiled and, and unbuilt. When you come to see the house and the studio, you uh, you, you could could st still sense the atmosphere that was in the in the houses. So so we have a lot of uh, uh, original items, uh, furniture, lamps, so forth. And uh, I would say that both uh, the home and the studio alto are very personal works because because they they were designed for themselves. They used them throughout their lives. So, so something must have gone right. These are the places where they actually designed the buildings, made the scale models, uh, discussed about them, and, and he showed himself that he's able to live with this scale and, and had no problems not having a, a great big palace for himself. I especially like the small negotiating room, which has the natural light uh, wall for presenting drawings. And I've sometimes said that that's the room uh, where Alvaro Alto sold his ideas to the client. Humanism and, and this uh, uh, approach uh, towards nature are essential things in, in his thinking. By the, the mid-1930s he had started his own kind of uh, nature-oriented uh, natural colors, natural materials uh, design. And in that generation uh, Alta was appreciated but he was also envied and in, in some ways his fame was also a defect because it didn't become like a, a Finnish style for all Finnish architects. No, it, it remained Aalto's style. Even though this house is white, uh, the building material is uh, concrete and red brick. Uh, the idea is that when it w wears out, uh, the, the red brick gets exposed a little bit and, and he liked this effect. He's a, he's a modern uh, architect who builds houses that last for long and in the end be become uh, beautiful ruins. So it's alright for Alto's buildings to look old and worn.